Good morning, this is the KSL Fastcast for Thursday, September 26th. I'm Sheriff Park. Right now, approximately 100 soldiers from the Utah National Guard are headed into the flood zone in Colorado. The plan is to clear roads and clear debris in Larimer and Boulder counties. But here's the hiccup. The group isn't staying for very long. Because of uncertain funding, the Guard is taking its equipment, dropping it off, and then coming back. Once the funding issue is resolved, the soldiers will then go back and finish the job. New today, a suspect is on the run and one pers person is in the hospital with stab wounds this morning as police try to figure out what happened at an apartment in South Salt Lake. Police say a 48 year old man was stabbed in the stomach just before 930 last night near 4th East and 3400 South. When police arrived, the suspect was nowhere to be found. Police have been looking through the night and tell us that they may know who the suspect is. However, no information about that person is being released at this time. All right, switching gears, looking at our fast cast forecast. Grant joining me. I hear snow in yes. the works. Well, we saw it too, right? Earlier this morning at the top of Parley's uh, had some snow. We've had snow too with. Too soon. I know, snow with accumulation in the, at the resorts. Yeah. And, it, and it keeps on going, Sharon. Now, for most of us in the valleys, we're going to get rain on again, off again. Not raining all day, but kind of intermittently throughout the day. St. George is going to be a lot cooler as well. That snow level pretty low to infect some of the high benches, a snow rain mix. And it uh, looks like we'll see more of the same tomorrow. Okay. And Salt Lake, you see there, high of 54, possible rain showers here in the valley as 40s well. 40s and 50s through the and day. Throughout every. Okay. Yep. Snow is coming. Cool. Just get ready for it. Get all used right. to it. Grant Wayman, Share Park. That's your fast cast. Have a great day. See you.